Hi, it's Lisa from Perfect Balance Diet. And today I thought we'd talk a little bit about Ayurveda and beauty, and particularly skincare and hair care. And no matter what dosha you are, you might have a different dosha for your skin type. So basically, there are three doshas, Vata, Pitta, and Kapha. Vata skin tends to be dry and rough and Vata skin tends to be more thin also. So Vatas tend to get wrinkles more easily and earlier on in life. So um, Vatas need to definitely moisturize their skin and um, you know take care of it very, very much. Ayurveda says you should never put anything on your skin that you wouldn't eat. So make sure that you're using natural skincare products and there's, ver there's several that you can use. So then Pitta skin tends to be um, a little more redness. There's redness or freckles in the skin. It's very sensitive skin. So particularly for Pittas, they want to look for natural things to put on their skin because they're sensitive to just about any chemical that they can put on there and it's going to cause some redness. But whenever you get like some rosacea or even acne, those are Pitta imbalances. So you know that there's a Pitta skin condition going on. Okay, then Kapha skin is beautiful skin, but it tends to be oily. It tends to be really moist, and so Kapha girls get that shine to their skin. So they just need to make sure to control the oil, but to do it in a way that's really natural because a lot of times um, the, the tendency is to want to put alcohol on the skin or something like that to dry up the oil and that just is counterintuitive because what happens then is the skin thinks, oh, I need to produce more oil. So it just works harder to get the oil. So it definitely needs to be moisturized but with natural products. Okay, so there's lots of natural products. I use the ones from Maharishi Ayurveda that you can get at doshasmart.com um, or dharmasmart.com, either one. And uh, that's great. You can also use things like coconut oil, which is a great mo moisturizer. It's a great hair mask. Um, it's, you know, you can use it for a lot of different things. Now with hair, Vata hair tends to be dry as well. And, um, the hair then needs a lot of moisture. And you don't need to wash your hair as often when you have Vata hair because it'll just get too dried out. And you need to use a really thick moisturizing conditioner. You can use like a coconut oil in the shower and leave it on for a little while and just rinse it out. And that's good because it's not only good for our hair and our body and everything, but it's also safe for the environment when it goes down the drain, okay? Um, Pitta hair, tends to get thin early and get gray early. So Pitta um, hair needs to be also moisturized and taken care of and um, use natural products on it all the time. And if you're even gonna use hair dyes, then look for hair dyes that are natural for that, okay? And then Kapha hair is thick and lustrous. It tends to be sometimes almost too thick because they get those curls and everything and that you need to control the frizz. But again, you do that with um, moisture. And so you can do that with a lot of humectants and things like that. Na look for natural sprays when you go looking for your beauty products. And there are some Ayurvedic beauty products. The Chopra Center makes some and you can get those at Dosha Smart or Dharma Smart as well. Okay, so that's my tip for Ayurvedic beauty and we'll see you next time. Thanks.